beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh my goodness. I am so happy how this turned out. I am very excited. Hope you enjoyed that. That's awesome. We might do another one like that. I think it's pretty cool. I love all the metallics. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera how sparkly it is, but I'm impressed with that. I'm going to start off with saying that, please bear with me, <laughs> my vertigo is like 900 today. I look down, I feel like I'm going to be sick. Um, I not wasn't able to go to work because I don't think I would have been able to drive, but I'm feeling just a little bit better at the moment so that I'd come down and I would start the video. Um, last week I was very blessed. I have another shipment from Crystal Resin. I want to thank you, Nima. Thank you. This is their other resin. They have two new ones. This one is the Deep Casting, which I chose to have the other one, but he sent me this one so that we can play around with this. So it comes, I'm just going to let you know, it comes with some gloves. It comes with another plastic um, spatula type thing. And these amazing sticks. I'm so happy with these things. So this one is the three, three to one resin. And it is, oh, it is a deep casting. The other one is the shallow casting. So this is a deep casting resin for ripper tables, DIY jewelry, art projects, two inches thicker at a time. So this you can also use for your molds with your, um, sorry, my brain is not working. <laughs> so you can also use this for your coasters and other projects. The only thing is when you use it with a smaller project, it is going to take a little longer to cure. That's what I found even with the other one I've been using, the shallow casting. It took a little longer than the regular resin because I would come down here and I would demold within 12 or more hours. I do it in the morning. I would wake up or even sometimes in the afternoon and I was able to pull it out. I'm finding that these ones aren't as curing as fast as the other one is, but there's always good with the bad. These are bubble free, basically. I, in the last three that I've made, I have not torched and I have not used the alcohol ink because I wanted to test it out and I've had no bubbles. And yes, yes, I have put glitter in and I've put some pigments. I tried to do it without the pigments because how can you tell if there's bubbles when you got the pigments in there so you can't see the transparency? even though the surface looks good, but there might be bubbles in there. So today I'm excited because I have not, I've got, I've got so many things on my table. It's disgusting. I have to, I need more time in the day, my friends. I've purchased this from Crystal Resin almost a year ago. <laughs> it's crazy. And I've been wanting to use it and I haven't done nothing with it. So this is the perfect timing. I'm going to make a resin uh, pyramid. I'm going to try to put the silicone cup in it. I've watched videos and videos and videos on these. That's why I haven't done it because I wanted to make sure I did it right because it took so much resin <laughs> to make it. So I've been watching a lot of people. So a few of them suggest different things. I am going to try because they've made these contraptions and even Steve made a silicone thing to put in his. Why would we not use one of our silicone cups? I've got all kinds of little wee lights that I've bought. Some were remotes and some are not. And I thought it would be amazing to put it in here. After I do my first layer, put this in. I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom and I was going to do my flowers. That's why I was drawing those amazing flowers. But I'm a little paranoid. I don't know what they're going to look like in here. So I also have potpourri. Give me one second. I have a painting. 
where I coated dollar store potpourri. Sorry, I knocked something over, as always. Dollar store potpourri and made a painting with it. So, my brain was thinking, I have all of these potpourri, the same kits, look at the dust, the same kits as what I have here. So I thought I might put that in the, the mold. Put a little bit of glitter and maybe a solid base and put this silicone cup. I have other ones, but I don't think I want to put one this big in there. Because this, mind you, that might work. We'll figure out which one. But that's what I'm going to use in it. I've seen, like I said, I've seen people put plastic cups. I've seen people actually make a mold to put in here. Why not do this? You can fill it with sand or fill it with rocks or something heavy to keep it down. And we're going to try that. So with that, my friends, I'm going to mix up my resin. I'm actually feeling a little better. So I'm hoping I can get this made today. So with that, I'm going to mix my resin up and we're going to get into this. So I'll see you guys in a minute or two. I hope my button works because it wasn't working. Okay, I am back. Now I clean my mold, so I put this paper on top. Make sure it is 100% level. I had to stick a toothpick, even though it's a, um, <laughs> a large popsicle stick, in between my board and my little tray, my rack, just to make sure that we are level, okay? Now I'm gonna show you while I got that on top. This is the potpourri kit. It was from the dollar store. It had some neat little things like these are the, the flowers. There's these little, these would be cool in like a, an ocean one because they almost look like coral. And then we have these little wee flower things and these purple and they're dyed. So yes, but I just thought, oh, there's a small one. I can use that in there. And then I have, this one is all the leaves. But oh my goodness, it is smelly. Because it is potpourri, very strong. So with that, I'm going to mix up. I got six ounces. So I did two ounces of part one. Two ounces of part one and, or two ounces. Yeah, and then four ounces of part two. Which makes it two to one, which would be what I mixed. So I thought I'm going to do the um, the point of the triangle, the point of the pyramid. I'm going to do it. I was going to do mirror, mirror glitter, but I'm going to do wedding day bliss because those are pinky purples and the wedding day bliss has like a like a little bit of a pinky hue to it. So I think it'll turn out better. And I'm going to mix it a little less because I don't want to don't want to go crazy, crazy and pour all of this in there just in case oh, I'm dripping everywhere. I'm moving that. I want to make sure it's level um, in case it goes too much because I don't want to now, let me make sure, and I don't want to move it again. My goodness, Sherry. Just get it by the corners and make sure. All right. So I'm going to pour, I think, that much in there. So that would be two ounces I have in this little cup. I'm going to stir in some of my Wedding Day Bliss from Laura's Art Corner. And when I was doing my video the other day, I did not open all of those chameleon flakes because they were sealed. One big spoon. Two big spoons. They were sealed. And if you paid attention when I did open the one I used, it went all over. So it would have been a mess 
if I opened each one to show you guys. That's why I turned it upside down. There's always a reason for the things I do, and I may not say it, but that was the reasoning behind me not opening them all up and show you. And it wasn't because it was not Laura's, <laughs> which I always feel guilty when I'm not using Laura's amazing glitters. But that wasn't the reason. It was because it was all would have been all over. So, all right. Probably could even go with a little more, but I'm just going to leave it. And when you pour in here, make sure you're pouring directly into the center where you want it to go, not up the sides. You know what? I'm just going to pour it in. So there we go. We got a whole two ounces. That might be more than what I wanted on the top, but that's all right. Awesome. And you know what? I'm not, it's supposed to be bubble free, so I'm going to leave it be. I am going to maybe use my silicone. Don't ever stick anything in your molds that is not silicone, guys, because you do not want to ruin them because your molds are expensive and you want to keep them nice. So use something that is silicone, something soft. Um, oh, let me see. Even like these guys, these are silicone. Just something to get into that tip and give it a little bit of a poke and then that's it. And make sure you don't get it on the edges. Which is what I did there, but it's not got glitter in it, so that's all right. And I see a little hair. All right, so we're going to leave that. Now, my big decision is, I've pulled out one of these. We're going to do it while, while we're here. I pulled out one of these. I'm going to set it here. I do not want to move this, though. I am going to... Ta -da, ta -da, what am I going to put on the bottom? I want to do, um, I'm going to cover this, okay, so that's enough in the bottom. I want to put some glitter. I'm going to use Mirror Mirror, just going to, oh, well it won't come through the other hole, so that's more than I want, but that's all right. I'm going to give it a stir. Might as well just use this one. Give it a stir. Because this is going to be the base. I'm going to put my flower in here. And we're going to give it a test. Because I had this for a, a week. And I'm sorry, Nima, but this is what my intents were. I was drying my own flowers so I can put it into this mold, but it didn't work that way. So let me grab, let me see, let me see, let me see. This one here is a little flatter. We're gonna put this in here and we're gonna see how it goes. First, I'm going to gently blow to make sure that there's no more silicone, silicone, sil silicone, um, silica gel. I know I'm going to be corrected. This is the way it works. And we're going to place that in. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to use my little silicone. And if this actually works, maybe I'll put the flower in instead of the um, the other. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, wish me luck. See, that was my thoughts, is because it was so... Puffy, I didn't want it to all.
flatten out because it's like 3D, right? So we're going to bring it in. And I know I'm going to have to come down and poke it to make sure it stays in there. And this will be a good test. There we go. Like I said, I don't want to put any more in it. There we go. So we're going to keep an eye on both of these. And I've still got some left. Oh my goodness. I've still got two ounces left. What will I do with two ounces? All right. I'm going to put it in something, my friends. And I'll see you guys when I'm ready for the second step with this guy. I'll see you in a bit, guys. This looks pretty, though. Hello. We are back. We are with our pyramid part two. Now... The new resin, the pyramid resin, is not called the pyramid resin. Oh my goodness, Sherry. It is the deep casting resin, which we're using here. I found it took th three days for my coaster to cure. So be mindful with that. I just want to let you know, it does take considerably longer to, um, to cure so I had a hard time I'm an instant gratification kind of girl so I had a hard time with that but I'm gonna unveil this and I'm gonna show you there is glitter of course <laughs> I really I'm holding it up is that not gorgeous that's that flower I don't see any bubbles I know there's glitter. I'm going to get that. I Yes, I understand. But I'm looking. I don't see any bubbles. So that is the big thing with this deep casting. It is basically bubble free. So I have mixed up. Oh, let's pull this out too. This is my little tea light. I have to find my little tea light. I had it somewhere. Oh my goodness, sticking to my fingers. All right, there we go. Now that's adorable. Again, I don't see, I don't see bubbles. I see little flakes of glitter. I have a hard time just putting clear resin. To me, it's a waste of resin. So that's a cute little tea light. So we're gonna put that there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to find on my table, I have one sitting here. But anyways, I'm going to do just a top coat. There is a little bit of a, a lip on here, so I'm not worried about it overflowing as long as I don't overflow it. And then in here, the glitter's really sunk. I don't know if you can see it through there. There's no glitter. You can hardly see the glitter, which is fine. I thought the top would be beautiful like that. I'm going to put maybe a half an inch of a layer and I'm going to mix in this pigment from Laura's Art Corner. I butcher it every single time I say it, so please do not correct me. I understand I'm saying it wrong. It is Pigmente Per Artiste <laughs> and it is rose gold. I know I say it wrong. I apologize. I have an issue with pronunciation and I apologize if that annoys people, but it is what it is. It is Sherry. I'm 100% original. They broke the mold. My mom and dad broke the mold when I was made. <laughs> so I'm going to cover just enough because I don't know if I showed you. You can see, I don't know if you can see it through the camera or not. It is, the flower has raised just a little bit. I am happy how that turned out. I'm extremely happy. All right, here we go. We're just doing just a thin little coat. I 
And as long as you don't break that seal on the edge, so it runs over, you are good. Like this is going to dome. I'm going to give it a heat with my heat gun, being that there's no, um, no reason to not use this because I don't have a coaster mold. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I'm using this. I bought this at the dollar store. $8.99. You can see my, my price tag is resined on. And here we go. We're just going to break the bubbles, heat it up. and let it do its own thing to the edge. I'm not putting any more in there because that is enough. Now in here, there's a lot. Maybe what I'll do is do another, another one of these. I have a smaller one. I'll grab another one of them. And we'll do Actually, let's do a coaster mold with, we'll do this little one. It came in a set of three. I will link it. Um, yeah, I'll pour what I want in here and then I'll pour the rest in here. So we're going to use this pigmente. I don't think I've used the rose gold. I'm going to grab a stick here. A couple of sticks because we're going to put a little glitter into it too. Life is too short to have not have glitter. I want to show you this, but I don't want to put it in that. Is that not beautiful? Here we go. Oh, I'm glad it fell that way. Let's see what we got going on here. Use this one I have it in silver and I have it in gold but I haven't used the rose gold one thank you Laura all right now I'm gonna put the same glitter that's in here let me get a spoon uh, I'm gonna put in that so I'm gonna put this is wedding day wedding day bliss amazing I'm going to put one big heaping scoop and a half. That's two. I lied. <gasps> There'll be no going light on glitter with this one, Duggard guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right. Now I want to fill this in. I have... I'm just looking at my coaster. I want to make sure before I pour in here that I can see. There's. Let me just fix my coaster. There's a couple of little spots that aren't to the edge yet. I want to work it there without going over. as long as you don't break that lip you are good I see a little here perfect guys okay let me just give it one more little torch and then I won't have to worry about this guy that is amazing okay here we go move him back now, because I had moved this, I double and triple checked. Remember, I put a popsicle stick in the front of my tray, between the tray and my stand, because this wasn't level. And you want to triple check, because if you're making a pyramid, you want your lines in your pyramid to be level. You don't want them all goofied up. Okay, so I'm going to give this a good stir, because I have glitter in it. 
oh, and I was starting to say, I'm not using these. I was going to use the silicone little cups, but I would have no way. They're not deep enough. So I have these two different plastic cups. And I'm, it's, I think once I get that in there, I'm going to use this one. There's a skinny one too. So between the two of them, I'll put one of them in there so we can put lights in. I see people embed lights in. But my thoughts are, what if the lights break? Because they're, you know what I mean, nothing is ever forgiven or always given, right? So here we go. I don't even know if you can see inside this. Let me, I'm going to try and bring you closer. Oh, I strategically placed a bunch of stuff here. Just a minute. There. Sorry, guys. I know you are. There. Is that better? Can you see in there? <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's pour this in. good and then that way well, maybe a little more that way you won't um, see the hole from the top I don't know if I'm making sense or not if I'm gonna put this in I don't want to see the um, the hole clear like where I'm gonna put the lights so anyways that's my thoughts I don't know if I'm explaining it properly or not but and here we go we're just gonna fill this guy up this guy my apologies well we might do the other one get them both in there I'm going to shimmy this that way. Perfect. They're going to both be almost the same size, but that's fine. One little tea light. All right. So now, do I use the torch? I don't want to use the torch. I don't want to use the alcohol ink, uh, even though it's alcohol. I'm going to use the alcohol. I'm going to be very, very gentle with it because I don't want it to. Mm. Let's go. I just don't want it to leave a, a film because it does leave a film. If you use too much of it, you will have a skim on the top. So you want to be mindful, like one good squirt. And because these are, you know, you won't see the bubbles as much when you put pigment in, but I can see it working like crazy. So I'm hoping it works and I'm in love with this coaster. I am so happy that I did those flowers. goodness okay so with that my friends I'm gonna cover my guys up and you'll be all happy with me I bought some fly strips <laughs> I'm gonna hang them from my ceiling oh my goodness I was at the dollar store and we have oh I can't do that we have issues with ants at the trailer so I I'm gonna shimmy this this way closer and put that here and this here, because this is going to hit it. Oh. Perfect. All right, guys. I'll see you for the next layer when we're going to add our cup. I'm going to find my little lights because I bought a whole bunch of little fairy light things off of Amazon a long time ago. So anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next piece. Bye-bye. 
Okay guys, we are back to do another part of this pyramid. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned the resin that I did this part, which I used the rest in this, and I did the top coat in, oh my goodness, that is the most amazing thing. That is awesome. So the resin I used for that was the original crystal resin, the two-part crystal resin, because it cured very fast compared to the the deep casting so this new one because the okay the reasoning i did that was i'm impatient number one number two i added pigment so i wasn't overly worried um about the bubble aspect but now we're gonna do clear and this part is the three to one this is the deep casting resin so i've mixed up nine ounces in my cup and we're gonna get into i didn't want to do anything until i got you guys in in camera so i'm gonna remove this i showed that to you let's just quickly unveil these and then we'll get right into doing the second part of this the third the second of three no this is this is the second this is the third part of four. Oh my that looks pretty I have to do these little sets. Oh my goodness, my hands are so bad. It's hard to get some of these molds off. They're not hard. It's just I am uh, medically challenged with my hands. All right, here we go. So they turned out adorable using that rose gold from Laura's Art Corner and Wedding Day Bliss. Woo, look at that. Now that's what you're gonna see when the layer like this is going to be what you see on the side but when you look down because when i did my first layer with the glitter i did not put enough oh, i can't believe i'm saying this i didn't put enough glitter so i ended up there's a gap i'm gonna pull this out it's it's done so these are, i don't know if you can see it but there is a gap here of a little bit of glitter floating in there and it's clear so i thought that would rectify my issue we'll start off with this i'm going to cut my cup and i'm going to put it in there i'm going to tape it and then i've got this lovely potpourri it's to be honest i'm sorry it stinks i'm having a hard time i have a hard time with strong scents so this is the potpourri that i had all of these cute little things. So I'm just going to embed all this stuff in the side. And I hope like heck that it doesn't bleed. Because it obviously it's probably colored. So I hope it won't bleed into my clear resin. So with that, I took a Sharpie. This is not a Sharpie. This is a stick. I took a Sharpie and just kind of did a rough line to see where I'm going to cut my cup. I would have preferred to use the... Um, oh my goodness, Sherry. Let me see if I can use my X-Acto knife. I would have preferred to use the, um, the silicone, but I had no way to attach it. Okay, guys, I'm going to move this just because it's Sherry. I just need a hold. What in the heck is this? There. All I needed was something to start to put my scissors in. And if it's a bit over, I'm not worried. I just want to start to get the top off here. There we go. And just roughly around that line that I drew. But I want to make sure that there's enough that I can pull it out. And now what I'm gonna do is take some trusty dusty tape. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna pour a little resin in there first. Mind you, it don't really matter, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. 
I'm just going to take two tapes. Ugh. And do I want to put glitter in this? Do I put glitter in this, guys? Do I put a little bit of glitter? Let me see what I got. I'm trying to find my fine silver. And I've used that all up. So let me see. There we go, Miss Laura. We're going to do some fuchsia sparkle. Staying on the pink lines, because this is kind of pinky, right? So I'm going to put just a tad in my... You know what? Maybe what I'm going to do, because just in case, I'm going to pour it in here. And we'll see if I have too much, because I don't want to... And this is clean, so I'm going to, just a little, so you get just a little bit of something, and you want it, I personally don't like when you can see, we're going to put lights in it, that's what we're doing this for, I personally don't like when you see the lights itself, so this might give it just that little just that little bit of sparkle, sparkle. All right, I'm gonna pour just a tad in the bottom. We're gonna put this guy in there. I'm gonna take tape, adhere it there. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I'm going to do one side first and make sure it's even, Steven. Looks good, looks good. And then attach it here. I'm just going to move this over here because. My name is Sherry, and I like to spill things. Let me just make sure it's the same there. My apologies if my head is in your way. And there we go. So what I want to do, I want to put... Here, let me take some of this off because it's going to stick everywhere. My mission is I want to put this layer, and then I want to go back and put another layer of this on the base so let's pour a little bit in here oh let me double check first because that's a big thing where is my i strategically place things and then i lose them because i really don't know what's going on here with my table at the moment my life is too chaotic guys so you want to make sure it's level because I've moved this a couple of times. And like I said, I propped, ooh, I propped it with a stick in there. So, okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of resin down here. lot of resin but you know what I'm getting at now what I'm gonna do is these little things I'm gonna dunk them in here and find some cute little things to put in there so we've got all these quirky little curly cues we're gonna embed them in a little bit of resin and then put it in there and my tape, my thing is moving. All right. I was trying to be gentle, but it ain't going to work. So let's put that like that. And I'm just going to use my fingers, guys. 
put this guy in the corner. We'll find a couple more of those curly Q ones and put those kind of on the base. And these are just dollar store um, potpourri bags. Oops, there's another couple. So let's put these in here. Just get a little bit of a coat. Put that bead in there. All right, let's get this out. Oh my goodness. Messy mobbin. And I know I'm not too worried about hitting the edging at the moment because it's kind of clear. Now I'm going to do, oh, there's one more little one here and we'll put that in. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pour a little more resin. Ah! And it went right in the cup. Oh my goodness, Sherry. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness, everything's flying. Well, you know what? I do need what I had made. So there you go. Okay, so now I like those curly cues. Let's put, I don't know, what do we got in here? I don't know if these are too big. Actually, no, they're pretty good. Put a few of these like pedally things. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then if they're Look, they're pretty. Look at that. I don't know. Let's see. We can put one there. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's pick out four. We'll put kind of one on each side. I'm going to put my rest of my glitter, in, even though it's resin, in here. And a little more of my glitter. Wipe my hands off. I don't want my container to be all resin resin and again this glitter is from Laura Laura's art corner so I'm gonna have to put something in my I'm just gonna shimmy shake and hope I don't go oh my goodness there let's put something in oh it's got resin in there now oh my goodness Sherry okay let's put this and then this there we go i put the i put the silicone cup in first because i accidentally had resin in that inside my cup mix up that glitter so there's not a big clump there we go and we're going to dunk these in here Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're gonna dunk that one here. And this guy. Again, guys, I'm going against my comfort, oh, comfort zone with pinks. I'm gonna put this guy in here. Kind of hard to see with the tape, so I'm hoping. And let me see if I can find shorter, fatter ones. Oh, there we go. And this one. Those other ones might be a bit taller for what I want. I just hope they don't bleed. And then this will go in here. And one more short little chubby guy. There we go. And then we go down in here. 
So we got a nice big chunky one on each there. I'm going to wipe my hands off again and I'm thinking we're going to put some of these in there. This is pretty. So we'll put one, two, maybe even some of those. Oh, I'm sorry. Some of those. I'm just putting them in. So I tell you guys, me and batteries, I am so done with it. Let me see what I got in here. We got We'll put in, so I've got two of those little flowers. There's a couple more, so we'll put four flowers in. Give them a coat. Set that there. I'm going to take them out. Try to place them so that you can see them. In the kind of corners. Like I said, it, it's just going to be a mod podge of stuff, and I am content with this. Being, it's my first um, pyramid, and I can't just do something that everyone else does, guys. I'm just a not a plain Jane. And then I'm going to throw in these little balls in here. There's a few of them. A few of these. I just want to make sure they're coated. I've never played in my resin. I don't know, guys. All right. Put that. And I want this flower to turn. Oh. This guy. I want it so you can see it. There you go. That there. Okay. I think that's it. I don't want to put any more. So we're going to put what I can in here. And on this side. And I am going to put you on pause because I'm going to mix up some more. I know it took a lot. I know the, 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 the pyramids take a lot. So I wasn't sure and I didn't want to over mix. So now that I've got that in there, I want to cover. I took my gloves off. I, I know, I know. I want to cover it so that these are just covered, which would be to about here, about here. So I need a little more resin, so I'm going to mix up and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. I mixed up three ounces. I'm hoping <laughs> that it's enough. I'm going to put just a tad bit of glitter in it. Um, really, I don't need to put the glitter in, but we're going to go for it anyways. I'm just getting a clean wipe so I don't make a mess of my jar so that I'm able to open it later. All right, here, Laura, let's go. Shake, shake one. Oh my goodness, that might be more than I want. No. Let me do this, because I don't want it to be full of glitter. That was a lot that come out. Oh my goodness. There, that's all I want. Just a little hint. Okay, and we're just gonna pour. There we go. And I'm hoping that was a lot of glitter and that stick. Oh my goodness. I want these to stay down. Hope they don't float around on me. Because, you know, I've got to go to work. Okay. And if the tips. aren't quite where I want them that's fine it is what it is guys because I gotta go to work so I'm gonna leave it at that and the next layer I will just embed those little bits in the now I'm debating do I use the same color or do I put it as 
I'm sorry, Laura, <laughs> that glitter. Um, I was debating whether to put um, maybe a beautiful, nice gold because they had the pigmente has a gold as well. So with that, I got to go to work. I don't want to. I'm going to let it sit and it'll still be extremely runny when I get home because like I said, that's the only downfall I found with this resin is it takes a while, three days for for this little thing to cure so i but it's beautiful the resin is crystal clear but i just had a hard time because you know i'm an instant gratification kind of gal so there's more over here than over there oh my goodness let me just put some more of these i don't know where's the little balls i will put something like that there put something like that there I literally just clean this. Let's put it back in. The spot down here looks empty. All right. Well, we're going to see. It might not. It might work. We'll see. All right, guys. I'll see you when I get home from work. Bye. Hello. I am back. We are going to put in our last layer. This is all secured in there. So I am just taking off the tape that was there. So I can see what's going on. Oh, my goodness. I'd like to say thank you to Nima for the gloves that came in my resin. <laughs> I ran out of gloves. I have to go buy some more. So anyways, so one of my plans, I finally found a set of my little lights. So these are what I'm going to put inside here. In here, once I pull that out. So... I've got 10 ounces of crystal resin. I am going to put some of this gold pigment from Laura's Art Corner. This one, I'm going to butcher it as I do every time. So I'm sorry, guys. I have issues with pronouncing things. So this is Pigmente per Artist Pale Gold. I know it's in a different language. I'm trying to pronounce it. So there it is. And we're going to add some glitter. We're also going to add some prism gold glitter from Laura's Art Corner as well. So I'm going to try and fill it up. And it doesn't have to be 100% full. So I'm pouring if there's, I got 10 ounces. If it takes more than 10 ounces, well, then that's it. We're said and done because I don't want to fill it up anymore. So I have a spoon. I'm mixing in these, I hate mixing things in this. So I'm doing one generous spoon. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at that. That looks so pretty. That looks so pretty. That looks like... And then you mix it and it goes gold. It goes like a... Um, a darker, like a coppery. It's pretty though still. Look at that. Very pretty. Make sure it's all mixed in. Now I'm noticing there are bubbles in here. There are bubbles in here because I'm impatient. Well, not that I was impatient. I shouldn't say that. Um, all of these were coming up. So I kept coming down and pushing them down. <clears throat> and I think that's where the bubbles were created because this, the new resin is supposed to be um, less bubbles, but I created bubbles, so that's not good. Is that not amazing, Laura? Oh my goodness, we're gonna do, if I can get it in here without making a mess. We're gonna do one, we're gonna do, oh, two, two scoops in there. I'm excited. I couldn't do just, this is my first pyramid. So I couldn't just do a layer upon layer upon layer. You know, it's Sherry. I have to do something different. And I'm pretty sure it's Louise Singleton. Oh my goodness. Go check out some of her stuff. She does some amazing pyramids. I don't know if you can see it. You'll probably see it once. Oh yeah, I can see it in there. All right. 
We're going to pour it in, guys. And the good thing is with the glitter, it will come to the surface or to the bottom, whichever way you want to look at it. And I probably should just be pouring this in one spot so I don't create boobles. And you know what? This is it for me. This is good. I'm going to scrape out all that goodness. Oh, I hate putting pigment and glitters in this container. It's so hard to clean it. It's not like the other ones. You can flip them inside out. I do wipe them out every time with this with a wipe but there's always still stuff in there all right i'm excited i am so excited i can't wait i'm gonna bring it more into the center here i'm going to bring out my level because i want to make sure because i moved it that looks good there. Looks good there. That's good there. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get this one. Yeah, so let me grab another stick here. And having to move things around down here. Oh, there you go. That's better. You want to make sure each layer is level because if it's not level on the bottom, it's going to kind of sit a little cockeyed. It's going to sit so your pyramid's going to be crooked. So, with that, I'm going to do some alcohol here. I can see them already bursting. Now this layer I don't mind doing a little bit more on because it isn't going to, I don't mind if it leaves that filmy because it's on the bottom. If it was between layers, that's a different, you don't want that. That is so pretty. And the bubbles that just keep popping. All right, guys, I'm going to wait. Hopefully, I'll see you in a little bit when this is all cured and we can put our lights in. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello is ready. Oh, I moved you back a bit. There we go. It's ready. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's take this out first. Let's get this off. Easy with the powder, right? Have to pull that out. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm impressed here. Just give me one sec, guys. Flip this back in the right way. Perfect, we'll get that out of the road. A little bit they could cut off here, but I am impressed. Awesome. Very pretty. Something happened here. That is weird. 
always something. But I love how they came out. They didn't bleed. Now let's put some lights in there. That's pretty. That's a shame. That is weird. There's, um, that part was sticking out. So I'm wondering if that affected that. Other than that, with the H. Okay. Now, let me find my little batteries. All right, let me get my lights. Where did the lights go? Crunch them on all up in there. Now I got to make a base for this though. That's the only thing. Pretty cool. And there's like I said, there's a lot of little micro bubbles around that cup. I don't know. Very cool. Well, there you go. I'm going to go. I'm impressed, actually. Other than that thing here, which is weird. And I'm going to have to cut a lip around here it's a little bit you can it's from that lip so anyways I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up like look at those look cute they all came up looking the right way this is so pretty on this one and of course that mirror mirror or that's um wedding day bliss that's pretty sweet well anyways hope you liked the video <laughs> if you did give it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed please think about subscribing i would love to have you join my youtube family and with that i'll have everything linked in the description box that we used here today and <clears throat> also i have the where to purchase Bundy molds with a discount code. I have the link to where to purchase Julie Cuts um, molds as well. I also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I also have the links to my crystal resin. And this is the resin we used today. This is the three two to one. This is a deep casting river casting resin. And remember guys, it takes a while for it to cure. It took three days for my little coaster to cure. So if you are using that, you can use it at anything. But I just wanted to remind you that it does take a little bit for it to cure. So don't forget to use my new discount code. It is Sherry Molten 5, capital S, for crystal resin. And also, <clears throat> sorry, I have the links to my two amazing um, Lares distributors. I have Michelle, my Canadian distributor from Art Artworks Resin Canada. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. Go check out her website. And also the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, where my glitters came from today. So go check out her. She's the American Lares distributor and my glitter guru. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And I also have my PayPal link if you choose to donate. And I'm an, Azam an, an, an Amazon affiliate. My link is also in there. So with that, my amazing people, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I just can't believe that happened but you know it is what it is it's my first one 
and it wasn't just a plain colored thing. I love the idea that the lights are there. So with that, I'm going to take it upstairs, see if I can take a nice little picture of it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.